everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to share a few super simple ideas on incorporating um, store-bought greeting cards into your own little handmade projects. I've previously shown a couple of these cards in a shopping haul, and then I went back to the, the same store and picked up this cute little card. I believe it was 36 of them for $4.99, and um, it's really cute what you can do with little images like this. But I think to start, I'm just going to recommend a couple little tools that I've used um, in creating these little handmade projects. I guess the first one would be this pair of scissors. You definitely need a good pair of scissors, and they are very reasonable by EK um, Success. It would say EK um, Tools on it. You can pick this up in um, Joanne Fabrics and in Target that I know of. Sometimes you'll see them yellow and gray instead of... Um, this two-toned. Okay, then you'll need a paper punch, hole punch. I would recommend Aline's glue. Um, not so much right now, but at the very end of the video, you'll notice that I've used this. And I would recommend that you get a guillotine cutter. This one is by Crafter's Companion. This is the mini version, which they have recently come out with a larger one. So I haven't picked up the larger one yet, and that would be because I use um, a Martha Stewart guillotine cutter like this, and this is amazing. This would be one of my most favorite tools in the craft room. It's just perfect. Um, it's just so effortless to work with. So I'm going to use down here. This I would recommend, too. I would have purchased this from Joanne Fabrics online which would be craft card, um, the craft blank cards and envelopes would have been a 50 pack and they are scored. All you need to do is fold them and just take your little tool and um, give it a good crease on the outside edge and they're all set to go. They do sometimes have a few little um, burrs and I'll show you what I mean by that. This is a good little trick. I always keep little emery boards around, but sometimes you'll see a little burr on the very edge, which I would just take a little emery board if you see one. Just simply go like that and clean the card up. I notice that a lot of crafters don't do that, even on um, the Anna Griffin website. I will pick up on the professionals doing um, cards and I'll see all those little burrs sticking out on die cuts but I guess I'm a little fussy there but that's a good little tip to not have people see that. Hey I'm going to also recommend um, if you're new to crafting you will want to invest in a few little open frame cutting dies and what I mean by open frame cutting dies is the inside is all open which allows you to get right over an image if you were going to recycle this card and you wanted just that wreath image um, whether it was that or you can go smaller where this right here is a very intricate die and believe it or not you could you could cut that and that would come out looking like lace. This would be an Anna Griffin die. You can see it better that way. But you could um, do this beautiful die cut and that image is, in, is inside because this is open. Okay. But the die set that I would recommend is by, um, well, I'll, I'll start with this one. This is just your plain little circle cutting dies by Sizzix. This would be your little scalloped circle dies by Sizzix. If you want to invest in um, larger dies, these are Grand Caliber by Spellbinders. So this is the Grand Caliber machine, which would be um, the full-size plates. So you can see how easy something this large, I mean, these are large dies. You would do a little sandwich, like the gray plate, your die, you would put the paper, you would put your cutting mat, 
cutting plate and then you would just put it right through and feed it through. That's how effortless it is. Then you would remove this. I'll probably show this in a little video. Um, and then to emboss, you would just simply put your little rubber mat down, your pink plate, and run that through. And when that would come out, you would have a little fancy edge if I can find my little, um, I have a little die here somewhere. Oh, I, I know, I've already put it on a project. I'll show you in the very end how cute that would be. I'm going to set these things down so I know I've gone through them. So this would be a good buy to buy the, the large Grand Caliber scallop dies. And this would be the large Grand Caliber, just the plain circles. So I would say this is a necessity. Uh, maybe not the real big ones right from the start, but the smaller ones. If you're really wanting to get into crafting, um, those are really needed. And the product I'm going to recommend if you want a real beautiful set would be sold at the Anna Griffin um, website. It was on HSN, but they've since then sold out. Products sell so fast on HSN. Um, it would be the Card Making Compendium Die Set, number AG-935H, and it's 41 cutting dies. And um, it's for $90, but I'm going to show you all that you get, and it's, it's worth it. If you spend $50 or more, you'll get free shipping. So that would definitely qualify. And it would be this set. I'm just going to put them on the table and you can kind of take a picture. All right, so that would be the ovals. We have this little set. This is a funny little set that if you have it a little bit sideways, it looks off. But if I can get the big one here, it's meant to go this way or that way. If you put it just like that, it's funny to the eye, but it's really pretty and elegant. So we have that set. There's several um, cutting die sets included for this $90, that little style. This style. This one. I tell you, it goes on and on and on. It is amazing what you get for $90, that set. And this one right here is really, really cute. It just, well, all of them are gonna make beautiful frames. This one I would have crafted with for today. And I'm just gonna reach for that, I guess, right now while I'm talking about it. And I'll show you what I would have made and it would be this little frame right here. This one, I'm just going to take these off of this frame. So the smaller one would have cut out the center. And these did emboss also because you have a cute little design that you can really see. And that would have gone around like that. That's how you would have cut it out. And this was actual the, actually the card itself to get that white frame. Okay, and then this frame right here, I can piece these back. This would be a bigger version. So again, you have the little one for the center, and then that one would have made the two dies to make that cute little frame. And if you have embossing folders, um, you can change these out many, many different ways. Put it in an embossing folder, get a cute little pattern on it, then ink it. Um, you could use many colors of inks. Okay, I'll fix that after. But that's not all that comes. 
with that set, you also get this die, which would be your four and a quarter by five and a half um, card, card base or A2, your four and a half by six and a quarter card base or what they call A6, and then your five by seven card base or A7. Um, and you also get these, which would be envelope liners. So if you had beautiful cardstock, um, well, you probably would want to use a little bit thinner, but foil paper or beautiful decorative paper, then you can line your envelopes. So I think it's amazing what, and then you get always get idea sheets with anything that you buy from Anna Griffin, which is good. Okay, I think I've gone through the dies. And I've mentioned these scissors. You will need a hole punch if you're wanting to make little tags like this. Clear my table a little bit. So a hole punch is needed. Um, I haven't actually put any of these projects together yet, but I will be. You'll be seeing me put, put a few um, things together, which I like to use the double-sided adhesive from Scrapbooking Made Simple. This is um, quarter inch, 85 feet, half inch, 85 feet, and one inch, 85 feet. And that is a permanent adhesive. I love Aline's Tacky Glue, so I will be using that. And you can really put greeting cards together with glue dots. For some reason, I always purchase these from the Oriental Trading Company. It just seems like you buy so many boxes, you get a better deal, and then you get free shipping. Um, they're half inch, and they're um, super strength. These are permanent. They're extra sticky. So they're perfect. Okay, I'm just going to start, I guess, with um, one of these cards. I'm going to start with Santa. Now, this is what the front of the card would have looked like. It would say Merry Christmas. And then you have your little inside. I think I'll just start with the inside because there's, it's amazing what you can get out of this. And I've got a little card right here. Push these things over. Now, this, let me see, this is what I would have done. I think I just tore it. And I will take um, my scissors too, and I'll show you how to cut all around that little um, foil. So this right here, this is what I would have made. Well, they just slid, but you get the idea. So out of that, I would have gotten that tag, that one, and these two, which are just red on the back because the back of the card is red. So that's pretty good. Right there, I got four tags, and I would have probably made this, I'm thinking. May the magic of Christmas fill your heart with good cheer. And I would have inserted it in this little, um, I put like a little slit inside of the wreath. And that was hand cut with these scissors. You may think that I would have used like little decorative, real fancy detail. I, sh I mean detail scissors. But no, I actually used this good size and I don't know if you can see that close up, but that's quite a fancy edge. And you can do that fine detail with these scissors. So I'll be cutting this out too to show you. So I would have gotten all those tags. And I think right away I would probably um, think somebody would automatically think, well, what can I do with that card while well, I can cut out the the edge, which I would have started 
down here quite detail with a lot of detail and I thought well if a beginner was cutting this out I wonder if I can go quite a bit bigger not such fine detail and kind of skimmed across and would do little tooth kind of um, detail here and there just to give it a little extra um, I don't know little elegant look I guess and it works so you really don't have to get too fussy just as long as you're going in and out around um, it's really cute so you could do something like that and put one of the little tags and that also would have been that inside of this card I would have just made into a little tag so that's one idea and this would be another one taking just your little do crafts 5 by 7 card this would be an Anna Griffin card 5 by 7 card layer place that on top the little 4 by 6 card layer and this would be Santa die cut with this little set should have left that out because it's a set I would have crafted with so I'll bring that back that would have been that die I used which you would just place in the middle and I think I had this little one I'm doing this upside down but I think this is how I had it and this little embellishment would have been sent to me by secondhand Tracy Ann, which is adorable and fit perfect. Now, maybe you'd want to make a completely different looking little card. And you'd want to take the inside sentiment. So again, with your little 5x7 card base, this is a 5x7 Anna Griffin card layer, 4x6. The little inside of the greeting card this is just the sentiment and this would be the wider frame that was made you could do something like that so it's just many different looks so it's going to help you if you're a beginner crafter or um you've been crafting for years i love things like this it's so much fun i'll um I'll go to yard sales and buy boxes of greeting cards. Sometimes you can tell what they're doing. They'll give so many away, and um, then they'll be left with a half dozen or a dozen. And um, as the years go by, they don't want their cards anymore, and they sell them. It's amazing what I end up buying, and that I bring them home, get my scissors, hand cut them, or die cut them. It's amazing what you can make with them. And this would be a different little idea. You take your 5 by 7 layer. This was a 4 by 6 and I would have used this die to cut that out. And you can do a little inlay if you want to. Let me see. I think I have to put this in first. Might not line up perfectly, but you get the idea. You can just, when you go to use your double-sided tape it's just a little inlay and pretty much the same look well it offers a little bit of a different look the same idea the frame's not on the cardstock it's inside of it that's cute too okay so i think i've gone through santa well i could have come up with tons of ideas but this is just a few and now Let's see, the little wreath. I guess I'll go to the, the card with the little wreath on it. And I've already um, shown the little wreath that I cut out. Now this would have been with scissors, just cut it out by hand. Um, if you have ribbon, this is so fun to make a little card base like this, just with double-sided adhesive. And I'll probably um, show this so you can easily make this. It's so easy just to take um, like your tape and stick this down on your mat that has all your grid grid lines. It's just so it's effortless to do this. Might look difficult, but it's not. And then you can just simply do something like 
like that, and you've got a cute little card. So what was a store-bought card goes to something that looks like this. And if you want to use just the inside sentiment of what was in this card, it looks completely different when you use, a, again, this same set would have cut that out. And you've got your little craft base card, an Anna Griffin 5x7 card layer. It really makes cards easy to, to assemble. Your 4x6, this would have also been the same um, die set, and then this inside. Now that could easily be given to a man, or any a woman, man, I mean, it, it's just really cute. And this would be the more simple version, I would say. Um, that was the inside, which would be just cutting down the card front itself and just about using it like what you would have seen. But maybe you would add a couple little, um, like, embellishments. And these secondhand Tracy Ann would have sent me. So you could do something like that. And it really does change it. It's just a simple, very, very simple idea. And for the inside of the card, you could just take a little 4 by 6 um, card layer. And what the sentiment was that came with the card, you just would... Um, Cut the corners with a little angle cut. Now that's right here. This is a necessity for me. It would be this product by We Are Memory Keepers. Um, you've got your little angle cut and a little photo. This is the best tool in the craft room. Uh, I don't really think I could be without this. I would have used it on all these tags. So it's just um, effortless makes crafting very, very easy. Okay, and you can also do something like this. This was another little die, and it was just perfect. This was an Anna Griffin die. I don't think it was even... Um, I'll show it was this set right here, if you have it. But this is cute. You can just take any little circle cutting die that you have, and um, just size them up on little cards you're trying to cut out. You'll be surprised what actually works. I thought this was very elegant. And if you took just a little circle die and cut out a wreath on a card and then did your little scallop die on the outside, that's a cute little look. I don't normally like the scallop on the inside and the plain circle on the outside. It looks a lot better if you do the plain circle in and the scallop outside. And that was a different look from this. The same sentiment, but they look completely different just from the die cuts, the cutting dies you'd use. Now this next card, so I've gone through the Santa card and the wreath card. This would be the next one. I really didn't get too fussy with this, the inside, I would definitely use on the inside of a handmade card. So this is just simply using your guillotine cutter. Kind of came out in a rectangle more than a square. And this would be your little scallop die. Very elegant. So again, I would recommend that you, if you don't have um, many cutting dies, you're new to crafting, try to invest in circle dies which would be your regular circle and your scallop, because you'll use these a lot. And on this card, I would have gotten the little tag, Season's Greetings, right there. Use the little corner right there, just simply, that's how easy it is. Squeeze the little handle, squeeze the handle. Use your little um, hole punch, and you've got an instant little tag. And these would have been larger ones and smaller ones. I would have just used the front. Now, what I love, I'm going to show you what I've done with all three. And this is the cutest little project. So we have this one, if I can find. 
my cards here. So we have Santa, we have the wreath, and this one. Now I would have seen Santa first and then bought this one in the wreath, but when I made the project, I would have gone backwards. The wreath started it, then I would have used this card, and then Santa. And this I'll show in a, I'll be showing also how to make. This is the cutest little hanging, and it was all, all three little cards. And this would have been a Sizzix, um, Scallop Circle, it's the same thing, Sizzix Scallop Circle, the little bit larger, and then I would have used the smallest one in the Grand Caliber Spellbinders die. And right here, the Happy Holidays would be right here. I would have done a little dovetail with the scissors. I think this was cut out probably with the guillotine cutter, but then I would have used the scissors. Um, second hand Tracy Ann's little embellishment she sent in these. So this one was all done. I didn't have to do anything other than just add these little rhinestones. And this would have been the middle of the card. I would have gotten a little sentiment and just added a little um, button. Now, I didn't use double sided adhesive to put this together. I didn't use glue. I didn't use glue dots. It's simply put together with um, just little permanent sticky labels. And that is how easy. And I have such a trick of putting this together. You can just whip these up within minutes and get them perfectly straight. So that's fun. And I'll be sharing that. Well, I think I've made quite a mess here, but I'll come back with a few little um, how-to projects to show you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.